FLC Chairman Trin Van Kuei was arrested for manipulating securities Mr. Trin Van Kuei, Chairman of FLC Group Mr. Kuei was determined to have committed illegal acts to manipulate stock prices and illegally sold 74.8 million FLC shares. Video, Detention of Mr. Trin Van Kuei On March 29, the investigating police agency of the Ministry of Public Security issued a decision to prosecute the case and prosecute the accused with Mr. Stock Market Manipulation. The investigative agency applied measures to arrest the accused for temporary detention, and at the same time ordered a search of the residence and workplace of FLC Chairman Trin Van Kuei to serve the investigation. The Supreme People's Procuracy has approved the above decisions and orders. According to Lt. Gen. Tun XO, the Investigation Police Agency of the Ministry of Public Security, C01, conducted an investigation and verified with Mr. Trin Van Kuei and individuals from FLC Group Joint Stock Company and Boss Securities Joint Stock Company and related companies about the act of manipulating the stock market, hiding information in securities activities, that occurred on January 10, causing serious damage to investors, affecting the activities of the Vietnamese stock market. The above behavior of Mr. Trin Van Kuei has enough elements to constitute the crime of manipulating the stock market, specified in Article 211 of the Penal Code. From the above grounds, on March 29, the investigative police agency of the Ministry of Public Security issued a decision to prosecute a criminal case, decisions to prosecute the accused, and an arrest warrant for Mr. Trin Van Kuei. At the same time, the investigating agency also organized a search of the residences and workplaces of the involved subjects at 21 locations. As recorded by Tui Trey online at 1830, the police force is present at the headquarters of FLC Group. Photo, Kai Tuesday previously, FLC Chairman Trin Van Kuei was issued a decision by the investigation agency to postpone exit for a month to serve the investigation. The decision was issued by the investigating agency on March 26. Kiat's actions in January caused a stir in public opinion and rattled the stock market. Specifically, after many days of FLC shares being beaten up, at a very high price, on January 10, the chairman of the board of directors of FLC Group Joint Stock Company sold 74.8 million FLC shares but did not report it. Report, do not disclose information before performing the transaction. Notably, in just one trading session, nearly 135 million FLC shares were matched, unusually high. While for a long time, FLC stock only trades with an average volume of 15 to 40 million shares per day. Also in this session, many investors just raced orders to buy FLC shares at the ceiling price in the morning, and fell to the floor in the afternoon. After the incident of the head of FLC Group, underselling, shares, the stock market wobbled, investors continuously sold off FLC and shares related to Mr. Quay, dozens of other stocks were also banned. Contagious. Right after that, the State Securities Commission issued a decision to freeze Mr. Trin Van Kiet's securities account in order to prevent and prevent further illegal acts. The State Securities Commission also issued a document directing the Ho Chi Minh City Stock Exchange host, to cancel the transaction of selling 74.8 million FLC shares on January 10 by Mr. Trin Van Kuei. Refund purchased. On January 18, the State Securities Commission issued a decision to administratively sanction Mr. Trin Van Kuei 1.5 billion Vietnamese dongs, the highest level according to regulations. At the same time, the chairman of FLC Group was also subject to the additional sanction of suspending securities trading activities for five months. Before the undercover sale, Mr. Trin Van Kuei was the largest shareholder owning 215.4 million FLC shares, equivalent to 30.34% of the group's capital. After canceling the transaction, Mr. Kiat's ownership ratio in FLC remained unchanged. However, this incident also caused some psychological impacts on securities investors, leading to FLC stocks being sold by many investors, falling in price and losing liquidity. This is the second time that the president of FLC has received a fine from the State Securities Commission. Previously, in November 2017, Mr. Quay was fined 65 million Vietnamese dongs for selling 57 million FLC shares but did not report to the market regulator. Also in 2017, FLC Faro's construction joint stock company Rose chaired by Mr. Trin Van Kuei was also fined for illegally selling more than 13.69 million AMD, AMD Group Mineral and Investment Joint Stock Company.
Closing parenthesis dot. At that time, if Rose bought back AMD shares, it could collect more than 136 billion dong, but the penalty was only 130 million dong.